In order to find the derivative of f of x, we first need to remember the general form for any derivative that involves the natural log. So the general form tells us if we have the natural log of some other function and we want to take the derivative of that, we can do that by taking the derivative of that inside function and placing it over the original function to form a fraction. Now our function f of x was equal to the natural log of the tangent of x minus the secant of x. So to find the derivative of that function, f prime of x, we can take that inside function, take the derivative of that, so the derivative of the tangent of x minus the secant of x, place that in the numerator, and in the denominator we can place that original inside function, just the tangent of x minus the secant of x. If we take that derivative, our numerator is going to turn into secant squared x minus secant x tangent x, and our denominator is still going to be the tangent of x minus the secant of x. Now technically we're done, but there are some things we can do to simplify our fraction. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to factor out the secant of x from the numerator because both those terms have a secant of x, which will leave us with the secant of x times the secant of x minus tan x in the numerator and tangent of x minus the secant of x in the denominator. We can then bring that secant of x we factored out out in front of the whole fraction, which will leave us with the secant of x minus the tangent of x over the tangent of x minus the secant of x. And now we can use a little trick of algebra to get parts of our numerator and denominator to match. We can factor out a negative one from our numerator, and that will leave us with a positive tangent of x and a negative secant of x in our numerator. And then we have a positive tangent of x and a negative secant of x in our denominator, which we can then cancel out. And this is going to leave us with the secant of x times negative one times the one that results from canceling out all those trig functions. And that will give us our final answer when we simplify it, negative secant of x.